Hi, it's Ian from the Postal Hub Podcast. And Marek from Last Mile Experts. And we are The Last Mile Profits. This is the last word on The Last Mile. Marek, you've got some big news to share with everybody about some exclusive original research that Last Mile Experts has done. You can, well, I'll let you do the, the, the explanation of what it is. Absolutely. Well, we, we've done some really exciting research on a topic that is very hot at the moment and one very close to my heart, which is out of home in Europe. Wednesday, we're going to release probably the definitive report covering this subject matter, including the number of dockers, kudos, in all EU countries, plus the UK. And the report is, has been prepared in conjunction with UPIDO, and it's been sponsored by Oracle Partners and the DPD Group. So the report is called Hours of Home Delivery in Europe 2021. And as Marek just mentioned, sponsored by Oracle Partner and DPD. Marek, let's just talk about a couple of the, the big headlines that have come out of it because, well, there are a few little interesting tidbits. Little interesting tidbits. Isn't that a terrible way of putting it? Some, some big things have come out of it. Give us an idea, first of all, though, about the size of the Pudo market in Pudo's or out of high, however you want to put it, market in Europe? Well, it's, it, to be honest, we were quite surprised. We knew that it had been growing. And what I think is important to say, because often people throw figures out that seem really large, but quite often they include double counting. We've sought to avoid double counting of points. So if the same PUDO point is used by two or three networks, we sought not to double count it. And using that formula, it turns out that there are just under 340,000 PUDO's points, PUDO points, which is pick up drop off points, or as our American friends call them, access points, and just under 45,000 parcel lockers in Europe. That's an that's an interesting figure, isn't it? 45,000 lockers. I wonder how I mean, that's really sprung up in what would you say, 20 years? To, to be honest, I think it's been the last five to eight years, which have given the fastest growth. Because to be honest, 10 years ago, if we looked at it, you'd probably find some DHL lockers and not much else in, in Europe, maybe a few in the Nordics. But yes, it's, it's grown very fast, very recently. And what's interesting, by the way, is that although they're not the strongest at the moment in lockers, DHL group overall, if you take Pudos and lockers together, just, just, Pips DPD group at the posts for the first position in terms of number of points. Well, that's interesting, isn't it, that uh, DHL is only just the leader, given that they had such what you could almost say a head start on parcel lockers compared to others. But DPD, being a multi-domestic network, they've clearly put a bit of effort into their lockers and their PUDO points. When when we talk about this, though, Mark, what do you think is of the focus for a lot of these major, the pan-European delivery companies, the likes of DHL, DPD, or Hermes, or even GLS? What do you think their priority is? Is it PUDOs? Is it lockers? Is it all of the above when it comes to out-of-home? I think, I think it depends on the player, because clearly if you look at Impulse, they're very much locker-focused. If you look at DPD Group or DHL at the moment, it's primarily PUDOs or access points. I think it will change and there will be mixed networks because people are beginning to realize the benefits of both options. They work well together. They're complementary and not mutually exclusive. So I think that's what we'll be observing. And, you know, perhaps the really important point, why is this growing so fast? And it's the old story, isn't it, Ian? Capacity, capacity, customer experience, choice. The, the four C's, capacity, capacity, customer experience, and choice. Uh, <laughs> you mentioned DHL, mentioned uh, DPD La Poste. Uh, who's coming in at third? So ac- according to our research, third place would be with Hermes, which actually, if you think about it, if you add Hermes, which is now partly controlled by Advent, the owner of Impost. Yeah, that was what I was uh, going to ask you, yeah. If you add the Impost lockers, they still end up just at third pr- third place, but they're a stronger third place player. And in terms of locker, they would be the, the number one. And then significantly behind, you'd find GLS and UPS. Of course, there's our friends at InPost have recently done, or haven't they finished the deal? They're, they're doing a deal with Mondial Relay. So 
Correct. It'll be interesting to see where these figures are in a year's time, especially you mentioned about how there's been so much growth recently in the in especially in parcel lockers. You look at the Baltic states, you look at the you know the Nordic states. They've been really putting the pedal to the metal when it comes to parcel lockers with locker networks basically springing up. Almost, I won't say almost overnight. When you look at what um, what was it called Nearbox in uh, in Denmark. Let's. I want to ask you about density because when we do our fabulous workshop on this topic, and by the way, I'll put a link below, everybody, if you want to have Marek and I run a workshop for you on out-of-home delivery, one of the key points that we talk about when it comes to out-of-home, whether it's PUDOs or lockers, is density of networks. So what has your research found here? Who's the leader or who are the leaders when it comes to density of out-of-home? Well, this is the interesting thing, that although actually in terms of the number of points, unsurprisingly, Germany is number one and quite a strong number one with around about 57,000 points. In terms of density, actually the only place at the moment in Europe where you have more than 20 PUDO points or access points per 10,000 population is actually Finland. So our friends at Posti will be very pleased to hear that, that they are the number one in terms of density. And they've come from the clouds, haven't they? Because their network has, I'll, I'll put a link to it down below. We've, we've written about how fast their network has grown. It has grown at an immense rate, basically doubling every year. So it went from 500 to 1,000 one year. It's gone from 1,000, I think they've got 3,000 or something, just lockers now. Absolutely. Absolutely. And they've, they've, they've really been growing very fast. And to be honest, part of it is driven by the fact that there is, is a culture of out-of-home delivery. If I remember correctly, Finland is one of the very few places in the world where you have over 90% of B2C deliveries going out of home, which is just incredible. And, of course, our friends at Posti now claim to have the world's largest locker. So... Indeed, I remember that. Whose locker yeah. is longest, or whatever we, we had. In well, now they reckon, yeah, so I'll put a link. I can never remember if it's up, up here or over there. I'll put a, a pop out to our little show about the largest locker. The winners are, without a doubt, Finland, Denmark, and let me see. Finland and Denmark, without a doubt, they are the winners, as it were. There you in go. Terms of density points. Now, for people who want to find out more about this, of course, you can get a copy of the Out of Home Delivery in Europe 2021 report, and we'll put a link down below. Whether you're watching this on LinkedIn or on YouTube, there will be a link in the comments or in the somewhere. You'll be able to find it pretty easily. Um, you'll be able to find it as easily as my earphone falls out every single video that we do. And, and Ian, we should say thanks to our sponsors, the report is absolutely free. And that is one thing we need to mention again is that Oracle Partner and DPD sponsored this report, which is why it's free, because ordinarily something like this would cost a boatload of money to download. Marek, are there any other, in the, in the 30 seconds we have left, any other quick highlights that you want to mention that people should look out for when they get their hot little hands on this report? Do you know, I think we'll be sharing them after the, the release. I think we've shared some of the most important ones. I think some of the, the, there are other surprises in terms of analysis, quite detailed analysis, on how COVID has changed things, on places that you wouldn't expect. For example, well, I will share one thing, that Greece has grown incredibly in terms of e-commerce. It's not the place that I'd have expected to, to be the number one sort of boom country for e-commerce. So have a look at it. You'll get individually by each country details of the networks, who's there, who's the strongest, notes on what's happening and so on. So I think people find it really interesting. And, um, and, and I have to say, it's been really fun doing this. So check underneath this video for a link to download this new report, Out of Home Delivery in Europe 2021, sponsored by Oracle Partner and DPD. Marek Rzecki, thanks for being part of The Last Mile Profits today. Thank you, and thank you, everyone.